Hello, so today we will be continuing on from a previously set up tire assembly to create a draft of multiple exploded views and a DML bill of materials or known as product structure. Jumping into it, we will go into application tab and ensure we are in the assembly mode in case there was any issues creating the assembly's model and execute drafting it. Choose an appropriate sheet size, insert any relevant information pertaining to the title block and proceed to the base view exiting any kind of view creation wizard that might pop up. We will import an isometric view of the component and insert a parts list to a 1 to 4 scaled ratio. For any further editing of this parts list, you are able to go into the part navigator, double click on the settings of the parts and change any corresponding settings available, and also right click and edit the levels to choose the top level or bottom level or master model of the components significantly viewed and important to this assembly. Continuing on, we will import a auto balloon feature by highlighting the created parts list section and right clicking and going to auto balloon. From here, you are able to manipulate any of the leader lines and call outs for the pertaining assembly auto balloons and move the control frame to any position you would like and they all move correspondingly to the multi-leaders. From this point on we will be creating the first exploded view by entering into the application tab and back into the assemblies model mode. From this mode we will go to the assemblies tab and go into the expanded exploded views settings and create a new explosion named Explosion 1. Exploded views depict relevant information of assemblies to assemble and also manufacture the features. For our first exploded view, we will be placing the alloy on top of the tire. To view any first instructional components that must be assembled or manufactured before the previous one. The next step from this is to enter back into the Explosive Views tab, go to Edit Explosion, and you want to select an object and move it from a certain distance or a handled movement method to show the relevant spacing appropriately to understand the parts assembly or manufacturing process. The next step is to place trace lines in between the two components. This will be done by point-to-point -point end objects. There's also component-to-component, -component, but we will be using the center points for these two objects. From this particular method, you're able to edit the alternate solution of the trace line to make it a perfect parallel line or a line that can coincide around a part or component to make further understanding of it. At this particular point of the first assembly exploded view. It's also important to understand that this software is extremely technical in how it imports a modeled assembly into a drafting drawing. Due to this fact, 
you are going to have to create every explosive view as a new, then go back into a no explosion view, edit your part to show all the components that were necessarily and initially in the view, and then create your next explosion to import it into your draft. From your draft, you will go to base view and you will be importing a one to four ratio of a trimetric view. When you create your first exploded view, it's automatically preset in your draft as a trimetric view, and there is only one of those available. That's why you must go back and forth between your model assembly and draft to create multiple exploded views, even though they are all titled and technically their own assembly. From the trimetric view, you are also able to edit the oriented view because the first automatic preset view that is available from any exploded view is an isometric view. Sometimes that's not relevant to depict the assembly or manufacturing process necessary to, to create this assembly. Orient the view, select the Z vector, and rotate the part appropriately. Now return to the application tab and back into the assemblies modeling mode to edit the next assembly explosion. To do so, you will go to the assemblies tab, back into the exploded views tab, then go into the same tab and you will show components in view, select all the components to apply them back to the view, like so. From here, you will return to the same Exploded View tabs go to Edit Explosion. You will select your components and move them to an appropriate distance to portray all of the relevant information required for the assembly drawing. From this point, you are able to insert all of the trace lines for the second explosion view.
And that concludes our tire assembly.